So I took a quick look at ChatGPT, this is a new AI tool, and um, I took a look at it from the point of view of software development. So this is just a preliminary look at it and what my thoughts are in terms of how it might affect development and developers. So the first question, will it replace developers? I don't think so because from what I've seen thus far, um, it looks like a very, very good code completion tool and uh, plus plus. So it does more than a typical code completion tool that you see in, in a typical code editor IDE that you would use today, but it does more. And uh, so I could see it as a productivity tool in terms of speeding up things. So yeah, it's something to consider, something to look at. Don't make the mistake I made many years ago where when I was writing Java in the mid 90s, the first two years I was writing Java code, I was like this hardcore nerd who would just use a simple text editor to write my Java code and then I'd run it through the compiler via command line. That was a waste of time because when I went to an IDE, especially when the JetBrains came out, that was a game changer for me at least. When I went to an IDE, an integrated development environment with very advanced code editing capabilities, code completion, and all kinds of refactoring tools built in, it made my life so much easier. I became much more productive. My code was easier to debug. I had less typo-related bugs, uh, although I had more uh, logical and structural bugs. Not more, but I had these. Those, those stayed around. So I think with uh, a software like ChatGPT, with its ability to write code for you and so forth, even answer some basic code questions in terms of comprehension. You can, I've seen examples where they select code chunks and it's able to give you breakdowns. Again, if you are an experienced developer, you know that this is only a part of the job. A big part of the job as a professional developer is able to figure out all kinds of architectural issues, uh, infrastructure issues, especially if you're a lead developer where you have to start making choices in terms of which particular technologies to choose based on some seemingly minor nuances uh, of your applications or of your business's needs. Sometimes it might make sense to do it with uh, a web app. Sometimes you might want to do a mobile app native. Some sometimes, who knows, you get the idea. So again, I would not be worried that this is going to replace developers. I think it's just going to change the game a little bit more. It's going to shift the game. Just like when content management systems came out like WordPress, that shifted the game. Uh, when good IDEs came out, that shifted the game. When they standardized web development in around 2012 to 14 really became solid at that point, HTML5 specification and so on. That changed the game. It just made it a lot easier to get things done. So instead of working on this, developers could spend much less time on this now and could spend more time on that. Uh, that's why websites and web apps are just so much better today because as developers, as web developer, as web developers today, we don't have to spend so much time building infrastructure, trying to figure out, trying to figure out common infrastructure issues that have been resolved now, which is a good thing. So so far, based on my preliminary preliminary look at Chat GPT, I don't see it as a threat. I just see it as a potential tool that you can use, something to leverage. Take a look at it play around with it, see how it might help you out in certain circumstances, just like a great IDE. By the way, AI-based code completion and code assistance is nothing new. I actually reviewed a couple of tools uh, in the last year, uh, which were pretty cool as well. They were I looked at them as code completion and code hinting on steroids. You know. Anyhow, there you go. Bye-bye.